Let's go back 2,000 years ago and let's think about Jesus. He's in the upper room with his disciples. He's just hours away from being betrayed by Judas. He's hours away from being arrested unjustly. He's hours away from being brought through a series of illegal trials. It's not long until he's going to be beaten and mocked and spit upon. Very soon, he's going to have his back laid open with a whip 39 times as he's whipped to the point of death. And then they're going to take his hands and feet and nail them into wood, nailing him up on a cross to fight for his breath until he's dead. Jesus is facing some of the most horrible torture a human could face, not only physically, but emotionally. Imagine all the people you've loved and cared about abandoning you, crying out, crucify him, rejecting you. Imagine God the Father having to turn his back on God the Son as Jesus is about to, to go through the greatest agony of all, taking all of our sin and all the penalty and punishment of that sin upon himself on the cross. How did Jesus endure it? Well, we have an insight, and, and, and we're, this is familiar to us. It's called the Lord's Table. Notice what happened at that, that Passover meal. It says he took bread and he gave thanks, and he broke it, and he gave it to them and said, this is my body which is given unto you. Do this in remembrance of me. The same way he took the cup after supper and he gave thanks, and it said this cup, it's a new covenant written in my blood, it is, it is shed for you. Where did Jesus get the faith to endure the cross? We're told in Hebrews chapter 12 that we are to keep looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is now set down at the right hand of the Father in heaven. Do you need faith? To endure what you're going through. There's an there's a incredible power. Faith is released in our spirits when we're able to be thankful for what God has done. It builds our faith. When we're able to be thankful for what God is doing and when we're able to be thankful for what God will do. I want to encourage you to release the power of faith, faith to endure the hardship that you're facing right now. Faith to be patient until God does come through and until God does answer. That faith comes and is built up in our lives when we practice the power of thanksgiving. Jesus realized his blood was to be shed, his body was to be broken, and he gave thanks. I want to encourage you, live a life of thanksgiving. Live a life of praise. Thank God today for all the stuff he's done for you. Thank God for the many things he's doing for you right now. And thank God for what he will do. And God will strengthen your faith and give you the power to endure.